Hey everybody and welcome back to Building a Bought Campers. It's a bit windy out there today. The shutters are rattling like mad. Listen to that, right. So today we're going to be working on the traffic again. What we're doing at the moment is sorting out the solar panel, the roof rack. Everything needs to go on the roof before we tongue and groove the ceiling on the inside of the van. Get all the wires through, get all the glands up there, everything we need, get the roof rack on. Now, we're making the roof rack in a different way. I've not bought nothing standard. We're just going for something custom made and we're gonna custom make it. Um, we're gonna be using stuff called Univolt. Now, it's exactly the same um, dimensions and exactly the same look as Unistrut. But this stuff's available from TLC and it's a lot, lot cheaper than Unistrut is. Uh, three meter length, I think it's about 10 pounds something. Anyway, I've cut a few little spaces because when you put the uni, we call it unistrut. When you put the unistrut on the brackets on the roof, there's a gap um, where the original standard roof rack would mount to. Not easy if I show you. So here we are. There's the unistrut. So if we put this back on. So they're the mounting points. They're the spaces that I had to cut. Let's get them out of the way. So these are the mounting points. And there's one there. And there's two over there and also up the end. Over there, this end. It's sat on that bracket under there. But when you come along here, there's a gap, just there. Now I have to put spaces in that gap. Now I've cut these out some old metal, which was actually taken out one of the other projects. So let me show you. If I put these on here, cut and drill them. And we've got to do that on the next lot of fixing points along. And that sits nice and flush the whole way along. Now I'm keeping the full three meter length. Again, a lot of you will be asking why the hell would I do that? But it just gives an option to mount other stuff to it. We're gonna have the solar pan panel mounted along the middle here. But at a later date, somebody can mount something at the back there um, uh, something for bikes, it could be anything, you know, at the end of the day, I'd rather have it and not need it and need it and not have it. So whatever person buys this, whatever customer has this vehicle, has that option that you could add other stuff to the Unistrut. Anyway, this is called Univolt. The only difference is obviously there are no holes in the middle of this one like Unistrut, so we can drill our own holes. And I like that idea. We've got some white plastic capping for the top. These are going to be sprayed silver uh, to match the silver van. I did think of making them black, but um, no, definitely going to have them silver. We have got black end caps for each end of it. And on the front, I'm going to search for a light bar and see how we get on with that. So it's going to look quite good when we're done. So first of all, I need to drill the holes that I've marked on the back, as you can see. And I've done that at all the points along. Um, I'm not drilling, I mean, in total there's two, four, six, seven holes. I'm only gonna mount it at four points. And I think that's absolutely plenty. Um, as long as it's sturdy, it's stuck, I'm happy with that. I'm not bothered about every single point. But one thing I've noticed, these captive nuts that go inside the univolt channel and when you tighten it up these come up and 
lock under here. Now something amazing, which has saved me a big, big job, I can put these under, bolt the channel through and into that nut. I haven't got to worry about trying to get a spanner under there or put a nut under there. They fit perfect. So that's another bonus. Um, and I, I would recommend anybody buying a Traffic, a Prima Star or a Vivaro. They want a roof rack, build it out of this stuff. You can buy three pieces for 30 quid. And just all the little nuts and bits and pieces. I mean, in total, I went into um, TLC. I think I spent about 80 quid on everything that I needed to make this roof rack. And I think it's going to be more versatile than what your standard roof rack would be for one of these vehicles. But if you went and bought a Rhino roof rack for something like this, yeah, you'll pan damn sight more for it than what we're gonna be doing this for. So now we need to do a test fit. Today we're going to carry on with these roof rails. What the solar panel is going to be fitted to. What we're going to do is give them a coat of clear lacquer. And it's a semi-matte finish. We're starting off with light coats of this. And then give it one final coat, which will be a little bit heavier. Right, before we can put those roof rails on the roof, we can put these end caps in the end of each rail. It's as simple as that. These just for aesthetic reasons, they don't actually serve a purpose, they just make the channel look half decent on the roof. Just gives it a finish. Right, so I'm just going to get these on the roof. put these spaces here and you'll see why in a second so when if I, I can move them spaces about without them spaces there will be a pretty big gap like under that one I'm only using one hole there I'm gonna be bolted into that one there 
we're going to bolt to this one here where there's a space under there and there's one also up the end there so let's get all the nuts and bolts in and attach this to the roof So in that one there was a 20 millimeter, um, 20 millimeter bolt. In this one here has gone to 25 millimeter. Now either end, we're gonna have hex headed stainless steel 16 mil bolts. The only reason they're hex head, because they're the only ones that I could get. There you have it, first part of the roof rack. Right, so now I'm gonna install the one over the other side. Right, I'm having one of those days where I'm shattered. So the roof rack is now on and ready to accept anything that I decide to put up there. We know we're going to be putting up the solar panel and that's a massive solar panel. Uh, as one of my friends Darren always said to me, and um, when I think when he, anybody asked him the same question, I've always seen the same answer is, um, how much solar do I put on my roof? And he has a simple answer as much solar as your roof will take. So we're covering literally almost every square inch available with a solar panel on this van. And it's quite high wattage. We've got some good um, and exciting stuff coming up with electrics on this vehicle. Uh, one thing I forgot to do when I put the first rail on the um, van was to put thread locker on the bolts. So I've used this stuff and good stuff works does the job so i went around and done the other bolts as well so now they shouldn't come loose that's literally it for today on the roof rack and if you've got any questions any comments any queries regarding the roof rack please leave them below and if you've got anything to say about it please let me know but that's it and I hope you're staying well staying safe and i'm gonna say bye for now and right after this you'll see a picture of the top of the van with the roof rack completed on there so i'll see you in the next video bye for now